Hi, welcome to Zopax. I'm Donna, and today we're going to walk through how to use the Zopax overwrapping machines for wrapping both a CD jewel case and a DVD Amory case. So many of you are in the optical disc business and need to switch between both products. So we've got three different options for you on how to do that. Um, we're going to go through all three today. So our first solution is going to be just using the machine as is when you purchase it. So right now we're looking at the PXC12. The PX12 would behave in the same manner. I have a CD size roll on there now. That's what I'm going to use to wrap these CD jewel cases. So let's start with that. Let me set these aside. So with the CD size roll, it's already pre-sized for this product. We're just going to Slide that across and we'll wrap as usual. And we have videos that walk you through real slowly all these steps. But for today, what I want to do is just demonstrate the versatility of the machine itself. So we're bringing that across the wire and we're just doing a quick fold here and press and a quick fold and press and that's sealed. And now we need to switch products. So we have our bar with the CD size roll now. The machine comes with the media bar. Now I can switch this out with another bar that is already housed with the DVD size or I can take this off and slide the other roll on the same bar. So I'm going to opt to just lift this up and out and you can see how easy it is to lift that out. And I already have another roll housed on another media bar. So purchasing another media bar is an option for you. If you choose not to go that route, you'll need to loosen this, slide this roll off, and put the other roll back on. So now I've switched out the DVD size roll, and that's now sized appropriately for our DVD Amory case. So now we're going to wrap these. And again, this is our DVD size roll. It's already sized to perfectly wrap this size product. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the technique of the wrapping on this video. I just want to show how quickly we can switch between them. Again, we're just using the PXC model right now with no additional accessories. And there you have it. So now I've demonstrated wrapping the jewel cases and the DVD cases just by switching out the roll of media film. Now we're going to move on to another option. Okay, so still using the PXC12, but this time I've installed the optional accessory bar and the cutter assembly. So these are two separate accessories that work together and this is going to allow me more flexibility and just using one size roll. So the size roll that I have on here is the DVD size roll. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap my DVD box with the roll and I'm not changing the method in which I use to wrap that. And I'm not using the cutter at this moment. It's just pushed off to the side, completely out of my way. So I've done my DVD case. Now I want to wrap a CD case. This roll is too wide. Rather than switching out the roll, I can use the cutter to trim down my larger roll. So I'm going to loosen this top piece, slide this over decide where I want it and I'm just going to press that down and tighten and then I can just pull this forward take the excess that I don't require for this wrap and just press that off to the side and now I can go ahead and wrap my CD case and again I'm using the same technique I did previously but I have the cutter engaged this time Okay, so this accessory allows me to take a larger roll and trim it down. I didn't have to switch out the bars. There is some waste with this. So I would suggest probably if you do a lot of CDs 
and DVDs, it might be worthwhile to go ahead and pick up another roll. If you only do them sporadically, this might be a great solution for you. Let's move on to a third option. This is my favorite solution for wrapping both the CD case and the DVD case. This is our PXC 20 inch machine. Now this machine was designed to accommodate up to a 20 inch roll of film, but with the bar length you can see that you can also accommodate two rolls. So I have it housed with a DVD size roll and a CD sized roll. If you want to wrap with this combination, you will need to purchase an additional pair of these end caps. The bar only comes with one pair, so we'll need one additional pair of the end caps is all. And now I'm going to show you how versatile this is. So I can alternate between wrapping a CD and a DVD very easily. And what's nice about this is if you're in the middle of wrapping one job and you need to interrupt it to wrap another, it's very simple. You don't need to undo anything. You don't need to move your cutter out of the way. You don't need to load a heavy roll of film. You just simply wrap. And then we can switch right back over and do another CD case. And if you find that you're doing a lot more CDs, maybe you change out that side, this roll more frequently than the other or vice versa. Nothing says that one roll can't almost be gone while the other roll is full. And it's so convenient to know that you always have a roll ready to go for whatever project you're needing to wrap. And that's why this is my favorite solution. So real quickly, DVD and CD, all on the same machine, always ready to go. Okay, so if you're doing the DVD and the CD cases, we've walked through a few different options for you with the Zopax overwrapping machines. Uh, we can switch out the rolls on just a basic machine. We can get an additional media bar so that switching between those two rolls is a lot easier. We saw the cutter option so that you can just use the larger size roll and only need to have one roll. And then there's my favorite, the 20 inch machine because we can have both the DVD and the CD roll on it and ready to go at all times. I think you're going to find our Zopax over wrapping machines ideal for wrapping both your DVD Amory cases and your CD Jewel cases. We're going to get those mitered corners. They're going to look professional and commercial. Thanks.